start with the second chapter of company law the name of our chapter is types of joint stock company types of joint stock company So in the first chapter we discussed what is joint stock company, what are its characteristics, its advantages, disadvantages, main provisions of companies and 2030. And today we are going to discuss the various types of joint stock company. There are different different types of joint stock company and they differ with their rights, duties, responsibilities. So let us study the various types of joint stock company. Half public company can be converted into private company, half private company can be converted into public company. So all that things will be seen. So a very good chart of classification is given on page number 28 of your textbook. You can record that chart. Basically, there are three main types of companies. Chartered company, company registered under Companies Act, company registered under Special Law. So, firstly, we are going to discuss about chartered company. See, I said three types of companies. Types of companies you have got three classification. First one is chartered company. Second one is company registered under Companies Act. That is registered company, we can say, or statutory company. And next is company registered under special law. We have got some special rights. We have got some special duties. That comes under company registered under special law. So, three types of companies charter company, statutory company, and registered company. I repeat again the three classification of companies. Chartered company, statutory company that is also known as company registered under Companies Act. And third one is company registered under special law. So now, company registered under Companies Act is further divided into four parts. That is, company from the point of view of responsibility. From the point of view of number of members, from the point of view of board, and from the point of view of place of registration. Further, according to responsibility, it is divided into three types company with limited liability, company limited liability, company with guarantee, and unlimited liability company. From the point of view of number of members, it is divided into two parts private company. Public company. With the point of view of what holding company, subsidiary company. And from the point of view of place of registration, Indian company and foreign company. So, all this we are going to cover in today's session. Let me make a classification chart on board for you. Though it is given in textbook, let me prepare for you here. The types of your stock company. Uh, divided into three parts. First one is chartered company. Second is
See your boy, that full classification chart here, that is tied from joint stock company, divided into three parts, chartered company, company registered under company's act, company registered under special law. Then, further, the chartered company and registered under special law are not divided in any further classification. The only company which is divided is company registered under company's act. So, it is as per responsibility. Number of members as per whole and total point of view of place of registration. When we talk about responsibility, from the point of view of responsibility, it is divided into a limited liability company, limited liability with guarantee, unlimited liability company. When we talk from the point of view of number of members, there are two classifications public company, private company. When we talk from the point of view of whole, there is government company, holding company, and Subsidiary company, and then we talk about the case of registration, the region company and foreign company. You all should note down this chart in your book very quickly. So basically, let me discuss each and every type of company in detail. The types of company number one is chartered company. This we already discussed in chapter one, but I discussed in detail for you once again. That is, these are the companies which are formed by taking special permission or special orders from the Royal Academies in this work during the independence period time. By special order of the king or by the special order, such company comes into existence. 
such companies were coming into existence due to a special law. In this, the rights of the company, the objectives of the details were shown. Generally, the liability of labor is used to be limited. The East India Company established in 1600 is the glorious example of such company. How British has entered in Indian economy very directly because of East India Company? Because East India Company was partitioned from the rulers during that time and they flourished very well in India. East India Company was established with the partition of the king. So, this is from the Nath Charter Company. The characteristics of Charter Company are they are imported by a royal command or a state orders. Royal command is from royal family is from King Kenna. The company's scope, objective, rights, etc. are mentioned in it. Company's scope, objective, rights, etc. are mentioned in it. Generally, the liability of the records of the company remains limited. Generally, the liability of the members of the company remains limited. Here, members don't have unlimited liability. They have liability to the extent of the shares for their work. The team can any time cancel the document and end the company. He has a power to cancel the company. So these are the these are the characteristics of chartered company. Basically there are four characteristics. Number one, chartered company can be imported by royal government or state orders. Number two, companies scope, objective, right are mentioned again. Number three, generally the liability of the members of the company remains limited. It remains limited. Number four, the team can anytime cancel the document and end the company. The team can anytime cancel the document and end the company. You got it? So all the powers lies with the royal families. Okay, we can take. Number two, we are going to learn is companies registered under companies act. They are also known as statutory company. They are also known as what? Statutory. They are known as statutory company. So what statutory company says? Such company comes into being by the special law of Parliament or Vidhan Sabha. In the special law, the company scope objectives rights are clearly mentioned. Such companies are important for the interest of the nation. Reserve Bank of India life insurance are the illustration of the companies formed under the special law. Uh, life is written here. It should be here. Because life is companies are just at the special law and secondary company. Compulsory they are not. These companies are registered for my, this company is registered company. Company registered under special law will come here. That is statutory company. Statutory company will come here. Statutory company. And these are registered company.
examples are given by Pompeia, like the terms for fraction of the sort of special economies, what they put statutory economies, any calculators they think of. Next is registered company. What are registered? That they are registered, they are registered under the Companies Act. Earlier that was 1956, now the Act is 2013. Earlier the Act was Companies Act 1956. Now the new Act is Companies Act 2013. So registered company are uh, registered as per the provisions of Companies Act. Such companies come into existence and they are to require themselves to register with the registrar of the companies. Every state has got their own registrar. State even every district has got their own registrar, that is, registrar of companies. Hence, the companies are a registered company in the land industry, equipment. Lenders, Indian Labour, Telco, Tesco, TCF. These are the various companies. And there are any number of companies which are not, which are getting registered each and every day. Any number of companies every day come into existence. So now these companies we are going to classify in four parts. From the point of view of members, liability. Number two, from the point of view of number of members. Number three, from the point of view of holding. Number four, from the point of view of registration. From the point of view of members liability. From the point of view of number of members. From the point of view of holding. And from the point of view of registration. From the point of view of responsibility that is limited liability company. Limited liability with guarantee. And when we see number of members, we have got private company and public company. When we talk about what the point of view of holding, we have government company, holding company, subsidiary company. And when we talk about case of registration, Indian company and foreign company. So let us first discuss from the view of members, liability, liability on the company. So the number one is company limited by share. That is limited liability company. Company limited by share is the first company is limited liability company. The liability of company's member is limited to the amount of shares purchased by them. Here, whatever amount of shares they have purchased, that is liability only the company has got. Such company is known as company limited by share. After the only thing about the shareholders, there is no responsibility of the members. But if less amount is paid than the price of the share, then the liability is limited only to the remaining amount. Suppose you have bought share of rupees 10, this value is 10. Today you have paid only 7 rupees. You have paid only 7 rupees. And after 2 3 years, company is on verge of dissolution because of insolvency. Then you have to pay rupees 3 only because. When you bought a share, you have agreed that you will be paid total rupees 10. But also you may have paid rupees 7. So 3 rupees are unpaid calls. So whenever the company demands, you will be paying up to rupees 3 only. Not more than that. Even if the losses are yours, company cannot demand more than 3 rupees from you. Because it was agreed that you are going to pay total 10 rupees. Out of which company on the so out of which you already paid 7 rupees to the company. So now the balance is rupees 3. Company will demand only rupees 3. And you will have to pay only rupees 3 and discharge your liability. Whatever amount of the debt of the company may be incurred, and if it is declared insolvent, even the liability of the member would be limited by the share that by him. Such companies have to write that the end of its day the word limited. Presently, majority of the companies are such companies. All this industry is right. MTA, the word limited. What if they have to use the word limited at the end? Then comes limited liability with guarantee company limited by any. 
Next is that following the position of company check, company can be targeted in good limited value. If such kind of company wants to convert itself into limited liability, then there is a provision they can convert it to limited liability. So till now what we have seen types of companies, chartered company and secondary company. Chartered company are formed by the special order of the king. And company registered under special law also known as secondary company. They are formed with the permission or with the orders of the Vidhan Sabha or the Here are the king rules apply. Whenever he fails to stop the working of company, he can stop. Here, whenever Parliament or Vidhan Sabha fails, they can stop the working of the company. It's all the company. Then we have gone to the Registered company, it is we see from the point of view of responsibility. So there are three companies limited liability company, limited liability, limited unlimited company. So here is the chief prime, even though the companies are being active on this. I am not protecting companies here. I am not protecting company. My Saudi Bella chair, chartered company. This is a job. Chartered company. So chartered company के लिए क्या होते हैं? कोई राजा, महाराजा, royal family ना orders, any permission, any permission यहाँ पे तो है। ये मैं एक example लाइक वो East India Company है। जहाँ यहाँ पे भारत आजाद हुए थे, मैंने आजाद ही पहला। भारत में जब इस बारे में तो जो चाहता है, क्या है East India Company आदि आने हैं सारे दिन तो उनको साफ़ कर रहे हो राजा ना order की बात ही नहीं थी। Uh, 